congratulations. It was a, a massive performance and a massive result tonight, wasn't it? It was. It was, it was a um, great performance, you know, especially off the back of uh, Barnsley. Um, <clears throat> which I felt, you know, we were dominant and should have won the game, should have come over three points. But the fact that we didn't, it was only a point. I was disappointed, but it was better than nothing because we could have lost it in, in, in the end. But and it was again and try and get the lads really up again for today against a very good Stoke side. Um, nothing to lose. They're not going to go up. They're not going to go down. So there was no pressure on them. Uh, the pressure was all on us. And um, you know, I tried to play it down a bit. So it's just another game. But it's hard to do that, you know, because you know players know in their mind that it's a game where if we can win. You know, especially with obviously Barnes are not playing and Derby not playing. That was our game in hand, you know, over Derby. So there were so many elements to this game, getting three points, and um, you know, we started off so well, sort of really, really well. We looked, we created chances, we got the goal, and then for some reason, you know, we kind of wanted to protect it and kind of sat back a bit. And that's, you can't blame the players for that. It's just a natural thing. It's subconsciously, you don't think about it, but you start doing it. And then um, to lose a goal on Stoke, probably first shot. And the target was disappointing. Um, obviously, nice, you know, held his hand up, and rightly so. But you know, this has made himself accountable. You know, as a top keeper, he's been fantastic since he's been here. Um, so that was a kind of kick in the, you know, at uh, half time. You know, but again, we bounced back again. You know, I said to the lads, it's nil nil. Magic, it's not 90 minutes. It's 45 minutes of nil nil. We've got to go out and get a goal, get a win. Don't feel deflated. You've shown since I've been here, you've got a great spirit, you've got a great camaraderie, you've got a great togetherness. Um, you've gone from individuals to being the collective very, very good side. Um, so go out and show it. And then obviously we've got the Lucas goal. Well, he's, he's claiming it was his goal. <laughs> I'm saying it's an own goal, but he's claiming it's his goal. But it doesn't matter, goal's a goal. I don't care if Lucas gets it or anybody gets it. We got it. Um, and then after that, it's back to the Wolves. Uh, they have a wonderful chance. But then before that, we should have been three one up. So um, swings and roundabouts, you know, we've got a bit of fortune. And listen, at, at this stage of the season, you need that bit of fortune. And you've, of course, you know, as you mentioned, the team had to go through. You know, it was a bit of a roller coaster tonight. You know, like you said, had to absorb that pressure towards the end and all the rest of it. And you know, it's about managing the game well and mm. you know, and really showing that character, which is that's what it's that relief at the final whistle, but also you know, it deserved three points. Yeah, it was a deserved three points. And listen, you know, you're going to come under some kind of pressure. You know, in the position we are, as I said, Stoke had nothing to lose. You know, all the pressure was on us. So when you're holding on and holding on. You know, you do rely on that little bit. Like you do rely on balls just whizzing past the post. You know, another day, you know, they could have scored a couple of goals, but then so could have we. Tom Daly had a wonderful chance. So listen, it's where we are. You take what you get. You know, at this stage of the season, six games to go. But I was proud of the lads. I was proud of the fans. I felt today. I felt today there was a togetherness about everyone at the club. You know, the fans included. I think sometimes there's a disparity between clubs and football fans because of the money people earn. But I just felt today there was just togetherness from everyone. And that willingness for all to do well, even when it went to 1-1, you know the fans were behind us, 2-1. You can sense them willing us to, you know, to get where we need to get to because it's important. It's a wonderful stadium with wonderful fans. We want to keep this team in the championship. So, and we're showing that in the performances. You and know, that's the foundation to build on, isn't it? It's got to be. It has to be, and it's all about performances. You know, as I said, we've been we've been outstanding since I've come here. Take away the second half of Forest, but in general, the points have been very, very good, and they've got, they've got better and better and better. And, and there's a belief now, all around the stadium, there's a belief with all the players and we can't get complacent now, things can change, you know, we've got another game here against Stoke, sorry, Cardiff, sorry, um, so we rest up our legs and if we can get three points on Saturday and things go for us, then great, but, you know, today's a day we should enjoy and, you know, thank all the fans and all the, you know, especially the players, you know, they were out on their feet. Now, people don't really understand that when, you know, you go to Barnsley and emotionally and physically, it, 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 it it can, it can do you, it can, really, it can really tie you out and we put so much effort into that game. Uh, so to come here four days later and play the way we did, fully deserved. And some big individual performances <clears throat> tonight, weren't they? You know, yes. Just the way that uh, you, can, you can reel them off really, but you know, some massive performances just from individuals but, yeah. and also collectively. Yids was absolutely, you can see why Yids is going to the World Cup, it was absolutely immense. And you need that, sometimes you need, when, when you get a little bit nervous, you need people to stand up and, and Yids did that from the first minute to the last. You know, it was, it, it was absolutely amazing, you know, and, um, and he's a top guy. The lads love him. He's, he's a leader. He speaks. And you can, listen, you can probably say that everyone was great, you know what I mean? But for me, Yid was, you know, he was the talisman of this team. But listen, it's not about individuals. We have to do this collectively. Um, so I don't really want to single people out. You know, Lucas worked as hard as he's probably done for a long time. Um, so listen, this is what it takes. You know, it, it's going to take to go that extra yard. 
you know, we need to keep going that extra yard until we get where we need to get to. And they're all buying into it, they're all doing it, and the fans can see it in their performances, and everyone's trying to get behind us, and that's the most important thing. Lastly, you touched on it already, Cardiff, it's another big game. Mm. You know, we go in with momentum now, you know, four games unbeaten off the back of, you know, <clears throat> a good draw at Barnsley and a, mm. a fantastic win here. So, every reason to feel confident again. Yes, listen, I've always felt confident in these lads because I've seen them improve week in, not, not just on the pitch, but in training. Um, and uh, it's another tough game, you know, as I said, but at this stage of the season, you want that momentum, whether you're staying, trying to stay up or trying to get into the playoffs. Momentum's the key. So if we can continue that, great. The lads are tired, they need to rest their legs and we need to go again on Saturday. And if things can go for us and we get a result, then happy days.